Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my first update in my 2020 Project Pan series. I am so excited to share with you guys the progress that I have made on these products. I've actually hit my goal on two of the products, so I am so excited to roll into new products into this Project Pan. So with all of that being said, let me show you guys where we're at, what we finished, what we've hit pan on, and what we're putting into this product. So the first things first, I finished my Urban Decay B6 setting spray and I actually also kept track of the amount of times I used everything just because I thought that was interesting. So I used this four times and finished it. So I will be rolling this out of the project. I'm super excited that I finished that up. I had that for a long time and I just, I knew there wasn't very much left. So I just wanted to finish it and putting it in this project pan made me actually focus on it. And I only took four uses. I mean, imagine if I had like actually done that two years ago, it would have been out of here way a long time ago, but that's the benefit of project panning. You actually like makes you work on stuff that you've been avoiding or not working on. So again, I think already far and away, I am super excited that I'm doing this project because I've already moved something out of my collection that's been in here way too long. Uh, the next thing that I am super, super excited to show you guys is my Makeup Geek blush in the shade Romance. I don't know if you guys can tell, well, I'm sure you probably can, but there is some pan on this baby, and I am so pumped on this because hitting pan on a blush, number one, is just hard in general, um, but this is very recent. So this was probably in the last like three uses that I finally hit pan on it, and I saw this little teeny glimmer, and I was like, Yes! Just so you guys are aware of how I'm doing this project, if something, if I put something in the project that already had pan on it, my goal is to finish it. And if I put something in the project that didn't have pan on it, my goal was just to hit pan. So I hit my goal on this one, so I will, I will be moving this out of the project and moving something in, but that's not to say that this won't show up in the project later in the year, and my goal would be to finish it. But I'm so excited about that, and to hit that size of pan, I used that blush 17 times this month, so quite a bit. The next thing I want to show you guys is my e.l.f. baked blush, but again, this is a highlight, and this is in the shade Pinktastic. I have not hit my goal on this, um, but you can probably see there's quite a dip, especially over here. There's a big old dip in this. I and mean, that's kind of, I guess, where I've been focusing my brush. But I also put my finger in it and use it for my inner corner highlight. So that might be why as well. I think I'm, I'm making some good progress. But again, this is a baked product and those just take way longer. We're going to keep using that. And I used that one 17 times this month as well. Moving on to my Makeup Geek eyeshadow in the shade Creme Brulee. As you guys can probably see, the pan has enlarged quite a bit since the last update. This is a lot bigger than it was and I've also been swirling my brush around the outside to bring down the sides as well. Since my last update I used this one 18 times so I've used this one a lot and as you guys probably know I'm also doing a pan those eyeshadows project so this one's nice because it is just a crease shade so I can use use this one in addition to all of those other ones but I'm now focusing on five other eyeshadows as well so it's just it's one of those things I hope to continue using, but it, it might not be as much as 18 times every month. The next thing is my Avon eyeliner. I think I have made some good progress on this. I will obviously show all the measurements and stuff. Um, I'm going to take pictures of all that, but I have sharpened this twice and I have used it 10 times this month, which for a black eyeliner, I think is pretty good. And to sharpen it twice, I also think is pretty good. So I think we're making some good progress on that. I have not hit pan in my Kat Von D powder foundation, but I did use this 10 times this month as well. There's starting to be a little dip going, but nothing huge. I wear this a lot to work, and I've also brought it along to just outings that I've been on where I've been out of the house for a long time to powder my face because the normal powder I use is the Cody Airspun powder and that's just really hard to travel with because it's big and it's a loose powder. I've been also using this for that. And then the last product is my lippy stick from ColourPop in Bound. And I used this one 14 times this month. This shade 
it's a bit harder to use because it is a pretty bright pink but I've definitely made progress on it and again you'll see in the measurements um, but I've definitely made prog progress on it this month so I'm happy about that I just think using lip products they're just hard to use and that's not something I always carry around with me and I like I've been wearing a lot of reds and darker colors just through the last month or so so it's not one that I'm always grabbing for but I think 14 times is pretty good for this month okay so now that all the updates are over let's talk about what products I'm rolling in to replace the makeup geek blush and the urban decay b6 setting spray so I'm gonna try and keep whatever products that I'm finishing I'm tr gonna try and replace them with like a similar product so because the b6 uh, it wasn't a setting spray it's just the b6 prep spray was a spray to prep my face I'm actually going to replace it with my morphe continuous setting mist I've had this for quite a while I feel like I am nearing the end of it so I think relatively soon I should be able to finish this and roll this out of my collection if you guys saw any of my recent haul videos I have picked up quite a few setting sprays in the last few months uh, to give you an accurate count one two, three, four. I've picked up four new setting sprays in the last couple months in addition to the couple that I already have. So I have a lot of setting sprays and this one I've, I'm like nearing the end of so I'd just like to finish this and I think I could probably do so in the next month. Okay, the Morphe setting mist is sitting at 0 0.080. In addition to that, I am roll like I said, I'm rolling out the Makeup Geek blush, and I'm rolling in two products um, because they kind of go hand in hand. So these are both from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit, and one is this shade, and this is in the shade Java, and then the other one is in the shade Havana. And this one is more of a contour shade, and this is more of a bronzer shade. And so since I kind of used them together, I figured I might as well work on them together in this project and so since I don't have pan on either of those I just like to hit pan on both of them and once I hit pan on both of them that's when I'll roll them out and roll something else in and I'm weighing these together because I plan to hit pan on both of them so I feel like it just makes sense to just put them together and so they are weighing in together at 0 0.011 that is what I'm working with those are the two new products in my project pan I have successfully moved out two and finished one so I think that is a pretty good start. I hope you guys enjoyed this first update to my 2020 project pan series. If you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and definitely check out the first intro video if you haven't already. I have a playlist for that and then also check out my um, Pando's eyeshadows project. I'll have a playlist for that and it'll be linked below if you are interested in seeing how I'm doing with that project pan as well. So like I said I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're having a great day and I will see you in my next one. Bye.